like smelling a fragrance. Uh, and I'm guilty. I've probably blind bought at least half of my collection. And safe to say, I've bought some ones that I very heavily dislike. So, this is the top five fragrances in my collection that I hate. Uh, just a disclaimer. Also, I think hate is a strong word. These are just fragrances that I heavily dislike. Also, uh, scents are simply subjective. Just because I don't like a fragrance doesn't mean that somebody else isn't gonna not like it, you know? Like, there are gonna be people out here who like these fragrances, and that's totally fine. This is just my opinion. Uh, it's just because of my palate, and, like, just what I smell. I simply just don't like these fragrances, and that's totally fine. But, uh, don't let this discourage you if you guys are interested in purchasing any of the fragrances that I list today. If you still want to go buy them, that's totally cool. I, I totally support that. That's awesome. But these are just fragrances that I heavily dislike. And I imagine there's some people out here who are going to agree with me. So, number one here, I think this one's going to be a little bit controversial. I have Club de Nui by Armoff. Club de Nui Intense Man, I very much dislike this stuff. Um, when I first got it, I actually quite enjoyed it, but, no, I don't, I really don't like this stuff anymore, I, I haven't worn it in over a year, at least, and, uh, it's kind of 1A, 1B with, uh, Club to New e, Intense Man, and, uh, All Our Main Love and Shore, I think this one's a little better, just a little bit better, but, in general, I'm just not a big fan of the Cree dupes. Uh, this one's just a very synthetic. The longevity is good. The, the scent itself is okay, but it's extremely synthetic. The opening is super harsh. Almost smells like a lemon toilet cleaner or like some sort of like household cleaning product. It's really, really bad. I just, I heavily dislike this stuff and I just do not wear it anymore. So, number five out here, I have Clip and Nui Intense Man. Another one I think is going to be a little controversial. Number four, I have Obsession for Men by Calvin Klein. I do not like this stuff at all, mainly because it just smells old. See, I know this is a very dated fragrance. But, oh my gosh, it actually smells like old man, and I, I can't get over it. It's so, it's bad. I just really don't like it. Maybe this is one that I uh, eventually adjust to, and maybe I start to like, but... No. Not, not today. Not today. Uh, not to mention this... Bottle is horrible. The cap is probably this might actually be the worst cap on any bottle in my collection. The cap is awful. It's like flimsy plastic, it makes like squeaking noises. Oh god, no, it's terrible. Just this is not a good fragrance in my opinion. I don't get why old people. I know this was like really popular, like seventies and eighties, whatever. But I just don't. I don't get it. No, this is not good. I do not like this stuff at all. I'll be it. It's pretty cheap. It's like 20 bucks, but no, I, I stay away from this. <laughs> I'm not wearing Obsession for Men, so. Number four is Obsession for Men. Number three, I have Kate Al Fusson. I believe this is uh, by La Tafa. And this is actually, this one is one that kind of surprised me. I thought it was okay when I first got it. It is pretty cheap. I wasn't I wasn't breaking the bank over it, but I really grew to dislike this fragrance a lot, mainly because of how it's sickeningly sweet and synthetic this stuff is. Kind of suffering from the same problems that Club de New Weed does. The opening to me is very it's it's a bit harsh and synthetic. I just I don't enjoy it and it's almost nauseating, kind of sickening smell in my opinion. I just don't like it anymore. I like the approach they were having with like a, like a fruity tropical 
enjoyed.